And now comes the time which um, has been described by many people, including producer Neil, as the best bit of the show. Oh, no pressure there. Then it was, uh. Classic scrape. My first Edinburgh. I didn't know that the Edinburgh Festival was even a big deal for comedians at the time. <laughs> I, 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 I'd started doing stand-up and no one had told me that Edinburgh was, was the place. And so like a week before Edinburgh, all of my friends were, you know, like you, yeah. they were like research into comedy before doing it we're going well we're going to Edinburgh now I was like where where are you guys going <laughs> uh, and uh, suddenly all my mates I was like oh maybe I should have gone to that thing everyone's just, just left for and I went to the kitchen at the time and a woman who worked there said oh well I've just cut this coupon out of the newspaper two pounds a megabus ticket wow so you know you can have it if you want so yeah and, and she gave me this thing and I, I didn't have anywhere to stay so I left it to the last minute nice. so I, I borrowed a tent uh, from my friend. Oh. Got the 12-hour bus journey to Edinburgh. <laughs> where, oh. by the way, on the journey, I was sat next to uh, two Canadian girls, very pretty. And I was really getting on with them until we like got into Scotland and I saw the sea. And I went, oh, look, it's the sea. And they both turned around and looked back at me and shrugged their shoulders. And I thought, forget it. <laughs> if, you, if you don't care about this about seeing the sea you can absolutely jog on i am not having anything to do with you enjoy your festival um so i got to edinburgh and i went to the uh is this campsite was like about a 50 minute bus journey from like the center from the actual festival Ooh. set my tent up in a field that was in a bowl shape oh <laughs> no, shape no, field. No, think no. it through but it was the only a great phone reception <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but by the way i'd like to put out, i didn't have any other options it's quite a month and um you went for a whole month well I was, actually i was there for the first two weeks is all i was there for two weeks and it rained first night flooded just absolutely <laughs> flooded all of my belongings everything just flooded the whole tent <laughs> I bought a towel, like a second towel, and laid it down that night to sleep on so that I was at least be dry for a bit. Oh, mate. And then obviously wake up in the morning and it's soaking wet again. Oh, my word. That's oh, the bleakest man. scrape of all time. Yeah. So uh, two weeks of that. And from there, I didn't go home from Edinburgh. I um, went to the Green Man Festival where I had been booked to do stand-up also. So I went from rainy Scotland for two weeks in a tent to a festival in Wales where I would be camping <laughs> in a tent. <laughs> The rain was worse there, so I, I get up. I, and also, I've got to unpack my tent, which is already soaking wet, oh and pack it up uh, and set it up at Green Man. What the point of that was, I don't know. <laughs> Did my gig, which was on a pallet <laughs> oh. in a field, not even in a tent, just in, in the out in the open, chucking it down with rain. Oh. Came off. I wanted to get out of the rain, so I went to the tea and cake tent, bought a slice of chocolate cake and a cup of tea, oh. sat down in one of their chairs and deliberately fell asleep because I, I didn't want to be awake anymore. Oh, my <laughs> James, <word>. James, James, James. <laughs> and then I woke up a few hours later and um, there was some folk singer on at the main stage. Everyone was really dancing. And I woke up, there's a lady in front of me, a middle-aged woman with ribbons in her hair and ribbons hanging off of her arms. She went, hey, you enjoy your sleep? And I just went, it was better than staying awake and being confronted by the reality that surrounded me right now. <laughs> And oh. I just ruined everyone's good time <laughs> in, in the tent. All of them just kind of stopped dancing. <laughs> and they just, Not like, the one bit that everyone heard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all, they, all they heard was me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in my gig, they heard me saying, I hate this festival. <laughs> I hate my life. I just ruined everyone's good time. Oh, oh my word. Right, that, that sums up what the Edinburgh Festival's like for... Um... It wears away at a man's soul until he depresses a bunch of people at a completely different festival. 